Well, this is kind of just a little video on the Stranger project I've had. The motor out of it is a 3.0 six cylinder or V6, I should say, Ford motor. And I bought the truck, I'll show you the truck in minutes. It's outside the shop because I've been doing some work in here. But I bought the truck for 200 bucks on Craigslist, a 2000 long box single cab two wheel drive. The motor ran, but it is having problems, it's leaking out antifreeze. And the guy replaced, the problem was, is these soft plugs here, as you can see, this one's on a little angle up here. When I pounded it back in, I couldn't get it in quite straight, but he he replaced this one with a plumber's plug, rubber plumber, plumber's plug that squeezes it shut and it ex expands rubber. Well, I ripped that out, and then this one here, which is in the bell housing, you have to take the whole bell housing and transmission off. And right here, this one was bad, so I had put that one back in there. I pounded this one back in some, and then there's one more. I had to take, I had to hang the motor back up to do this one, but it's right back in here, right there, a third soft plug or freeze plug that I had to do, and there was no physical way to do them in the engine, in the truck, and honestly this is a $200 truck I've never pulled a tranny I've never pulled an engine before but as you can see it came out everything came out real nice when I did it is well worth the knowledge and for lift I just used a, our chain fall I'm not sure what the rate it's a yellow chain fall but I'm not sure what the ratings are on it uh, I had just this piece of uni strut laying around it worked fine I got these here just help right here these here just to help hold the Chain, I was going to loop it through, but that's not quite big enough. Quite The chain's too big for the hole, so I just got wrapped around the ends. Same thing over here, but this one's kind of undone now from moving it around. Just got a big half-inch hook right there, and then um, hook it up to. I had put some boards up in the ceiling just for lifting it, but everything went up nice. And then the trainee's right here. Everything's ready to go back together, but I've never done this, and I've been talking to my little my backyard buddy he's like two houses down he's been helping me out on it the torque converter it turns out you gotta separate the bolts from the flywheel and get put just right but me and my twin brother when we were doing it we couldn't get it and this bolt right here where it comes through right here my twin was being stupid and ignored me multiple times sorry to say that he's my brother but and he de-threaded the thread in here. And so I gotta get a tap and die set to fix that. But so right now it's just sitting here. It was just kind of my first pull. It's an automatic transmission, so it's a little bit more about the same as a manual though. But as a two hundred dollar project, I had to take take the hood off for convenience back there. And then the radiator's out. That's been back there leaking on the dirt floor a little bit. I don't care about that. And then back here is the truck. It's a little rusty, but got a little rust here. And the, right here on the fenders. I shouldn't say fenders, but the box back here. It's nice. It's a 2000. That's one of the main reasons why I bought it. And tires are iffy on it, but newer truck. It's just been sitting out here hoodless for the last few days. And everything came out of it real nice. Only thing I, only problem I had was right down here on the power steering radiator. I busted a piece off in there when I was pulling the hose out to lift it because I left the power steering unit on. And then it's taped up right here, but these are the gas lines. You gotta get a special quick disconnect. Get four ohm or, well you only need one, but a little gas is leaking through the electrical tape, but. I went to my backyard buddy, he had a few kits he let me use, and then that worked, it worked out nice, and then this is the driver's side over here of it, got smashed up right in here or by a tree or something, and screwed up the door down low, right here, busted that loose, but like inside's real, it's pretty good condition, seats not so much, and Take a full ranger problem, the latch is busted, but it's got 150,000 on her. Drove real nice, halfway home, then we had to tow it because it's wanting to overheat. And it's a little bit dirty inside right now from working on it, but the interior is actually really clean. Besides the seat here and the 
piece right there and it's got a little notch right here. I don't know from what in the steering wheel, but that's no big deal. Now, I don't know if I'll keep this truck and run it this summer for a work truck and I'll start driving this summer for my work with my father on his commercial kitchen. We do commercial kitchens and we do a lot of traveling. He's down in Detroit today. We live about 30 minutes north of Grand Rapids in Michigan and that's about four hours, which that's why I was thinking about keeping this or else it's going to be going for a trade. But I'll probably trade it off just because I got my big Duramax here that I'll probably be running. But that's just a little thing, a little video about this. Figured to give you guys an update on it. Well, this is the first update on it. Hopefully I can get a tap and die set this weekend or something and get that transmission back going. Bye.